I'm so excited about today because we have a very special guest who will be coming in later, none other but Maggie Doan. My goodness, she's quite a worshipper. You'll enjoy her. She's looking gorgeous. Whatever she is, I saw her and I believe that we're going to have a wonderful time. But we go to the topic of the day to discuss uh, some of the challenges that we face as worship teams and how we can resolve them. And one of the greatest challenges that every worship team has to overcome is the money matters. Money matters in worship teams. When you talk about money, the Bible says that money answered all things. It answers to strife. It answers to peace. It answers to togetherness. It can also divide us. Every worship team, every worshiper, every worship leader needs the presence of God. And we already can feel the presence of God with us. My voice is not that good, but I can tell you we'll praise the Lord no matter what. Somebody shout amen. amen. Talking about money matters in a team. Mabari ya besha. Habari ya pesa taslimu. Hallelujah. Na kuna watu tu ntauliza na nitaanza na minister Beatrice. Because uh, lazimo kue as a worship leader you've had experiences about money. Uh, can money cause conflicts in a team? Thank you so much, Reverend. Yes, a big yes. Yes. It can. Yeah. Because sometimes uh, people need to contribute. Yeah. Money is good. Yes. They need to contribute. For uniforms. For uniforms, yeah. for microphones, batteries. Yes. But the one uh, uh, where it brings conflict, mm -hmm. it's when maybe someone someone was given the money. Someone is given responsibility. This idea more cause. And then the money consume them. Misuse. <laughs> Oh goodness! And, and Reverend, they forget that that is uh, that money is not theirs. Yes, it is somewhere that is supposed yes. to, to be taken. So once somebody uses the money in yeah. the team and mm. they have not been permitted by the team to use, yes. maybe for example, if if it's a leader, yeah, uh, and go and buy batteries for us, yeah, and uh, we don't get batteries, yes, and we are expected to leave the service. Yeah. Uh, the microphone has no batteries. Yes, there will be chaos and. Chaotics. So one of the greatest challenges in every team is money misuse. When the money is given for uniform, buy uniform, there will always be a Judas car anointing in every team. Mtutua na chukua mfuka ya pesa na toroka na may God forgive you if you are the one. Kama mechukua pesa ya team rudisha haraka. Pastor Gi, tumesema kwa ba money can bring conflict. What other way can bring conflict in a team in, in regards to issues of money? Uh, Sante sana reverend. Uh -huh. uh, Nikikusia kidogo kwa jili ya pesa. Uh, pesa ni nzuri. Uh -huh. Tunapenda pesa sisi hote. Ni kweli. Lakini sasa. Atupendi pesa, <laughs> tunatumiaga pesa. <laughs> Tunatumia pesa. Hallelujah. Eh. <laughs> sasa kwa team, akukosi juda. Uh -huh. Na kwa ku avoid hizo shida, uh -huh. pesa zinapokuja kwa team, uh -huh. ziende kwa account ya church. Uh -huh. Badala mutu wa press timu haka ina pesa. Oh, that is wisdom. Zipaki kwa account ya church, uh -huh. tukizi itachi, uh -huh. tunenda kwa ofisi, tunaomba pesa, tunatumia. Hallelujah. Hiyo ndo wisdom ya. Sasa wewe umetoa conflict na ukatoa solution. Yes. Makofi kwa ke wapi vikelegele. Wow. Ibra, sasa tuseme ni kona kahitaji. Na mini leader wa timu. Na last year ni kapata mtoto mdogo. Timi kakuja hika nitembelea. Uh, sistangu anaolewa this year. Na watu wengine hawatendekewi na miujiza kama mimi. Kama kiongozi, ukiambia watu wa contribute to personal issues. Is it good or how far can we go? E, asante reverend. Kwangu ni kusema kwamba kuna wakati kule wa press team fulani likuwa Kongo. Asa unajua press team Kongo. Hata Kongo inafanyika. E, unajua... Nini dhani tu ni Kenya. Ah, basi, ah, basi. We are comforted. Tuambie tu. Unajua Kongo, press team. Wao ndo wanakoko na shugulika. Kama ni vyombo, wanajinuliaga vyombo. Wow. Kama ni nini, wao wanendawa kwa kanisa. Kama kanisa inawachangia wao. Eh. Kitu mingi ni wao wenyewe wana, wanajigaramia. Wow. Sasa, ika happen ya kwamba. Hei, iyo na i happen Kenya. Buwana tusaidie. Ya kwamba prisi mwanajibaya keyboard. Tutaanza na sisi. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, Ibrahim. <laughs> Sasa, ina happen ya kwamba. Tukafu, wakazi fulani tukawa tumekusanya pesa. Tukasima tufanya mradi mm -hmm. tufuge kuku. Mm -hmm. Eh. Hey. Tukafuga kuku, hey. kuku sikakuwa nyingi, hey. tukaza kusa, lida wetu wakawa kuna shida, hey. haku ambia mtu yoyote, hey. hakaenda mali tunafugisha kuku. Kuku zenu. <laughs> haka chukua kuku la sisa tujui. Haka uza pesa, haka kula. Sisa tujui kuku zimeisha. Kuku za timu. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
wakati ilikuja kujikana kuku zimeuzwa <laughs> okay <laughs> I'm trying to recover you know a praise team wameweka kuku hallelujah <laughs> na ni vizuri tu ni maidea za biashara okay mlipompata mlifanya nini wakati ilijulikana kuku imeisha eh kukawa yani fujo ikatokea kwa kikundi eh haiwezekana huyo leader mm. mwenye alikuwa pasta ndo alikuwa baba yake eh sasa ikawa sasa tutafanya aje eh. watu wakasema huyo leader atoke na alipe kuku kuku za watu eh sasa ikawa shida ikawa <laughs> ik, ilileta ilileta mvuruko mvuruko ikabua timu ikakaa chini ikasema huyo leader atoe sikana yeye eh. tumtoe so shida kubwa ya pesa according to vile nimesikia especially ukiwa kiongozi wa team lazima utumie pesa vizuri na ukwe accountable na pastor gear ametupea solution mkitoa pesa wacha ziende kwa church kiti kwa sababu isikiwa hapo ni safe ni safe akuliko kukaa na individual na la mwisho niulize uh, richi richi kama kiongozi kuna ama tuseme kama worship team kuna kuna shida kukopa kopa kwa kwa kikundi asante kukopa ikianza kwanza kwa kikundi eh manaki mko na mpango wa kubomoa hiyo kikundi ehe sababu kwanza kama mimi vile worship leader mm-hmm. siwezi sema ni cop kwa mtu ambaye naongoza ehe sababu nikishajikopa kwanza kwa kwake ehe heshima tayari inashuka oh wow yeah. na nikimwambia kitu hata ichukulia for serious eh ulipe pesa kwanza kabla yeah. hujanikomolea macho <laughs> <laughs> nikiongea na ye ama ni nimpe sharti eh. ya naona pesa zake mm-hmm. so ina, i, i, kwangu kama vile worship leader eh. mimi napashwa nikitamani pesa ama nikiwa na, na haja ya pesa mm-hmm. kutumia mahali mimi natakika kutoka nje eh. nje ya team nje ya church mimi naambia marafiki wa nje naambia tafadhali hivi na hivi nisaidie lakini nikianza kukopa ndani ya kundi na kuna wengine kama vile mko members ehe mkipeana pesa ehe inaleta pia shida ni kweli inaleta shida kwa sababu msipolipana msipopeana hizo Utakuwa pesa utakuwa na strife ya. so ukiyo, wakati wewe kiongozi unaongoza unakuta wale wawili wako unaona ni nini inaendelea kati ya wawili unashindwa ni nini as ukishawaita yeye anakuambia ako na pesa ako na deni yangu ehe na anamwambia watu wengine pia wakasikia kuna deni eh. na anasema na mimi fulani ako na deni yangu pia hivi na hivi unakuta deni zime zimezunguka sasa na, inakuwa una imagine hiyo kama timu ndio inaambia watu inweni mikono mbele za bwana mtasambaza maroho za madeni tafadhali na kuombe <laughs> katika jina la Yesu ubarikiwe kutoka kwa roho ambazo zinaandamana watu na watu ambao wanataka kumtukuza Mungu. Amen. Furaha ulikuwa umetuombesha so sitakuuliza swali kwa saa hii. Lakini nataka kuuliza mtu mmoja wa bandi kwa sababu nyinyi ni kama mnakuaga ndani na ni kama mko nje. Kama vile mnavyocheza vyombo ni vibaya kukopa kukopa na pesa mkiwa kwa timu Ken. Tueleze hiyo. Eh yeah, asante sana Rev. Nimeshukuru eh. kwa nafasi hii. Nitaunga richi mkono ukitaka kikundi kiharibike eh. anza kukopa pesa. Pesa wakati unakopa mtu pesa Ehe. inafika wakati ya kishazikopa kuzitumia ni vizuri Ehe. lakini saa ya kulipa inakuwa tena ni shida matanga na sasa unajua umemkopa pesa unajua una haki yako yote Ehe. inafika mahali tunashika mtu shati nipe pesa wow. zangu bwana nipe pesa zangu so ushuhuda inapotea <laughs> So si vizuri kwa, kwa so, watu wanashindwa kwa nini hamuna flow mkicheza vyombo hey. kumbe ni stanu pengine amekukopa do <laughs> <laughs>
the way I massacre that song, you would think I know I, I, I am the composer. But we are so delighted to have you at Vine Encounter. Can you introduce yourself to us? Who is Maggie Dawn? My name is Maggie Dawn. I am born again. I love the Lord. I am married to the love of my life, Anton Chege Kafura, mm -hmm. and we are blessed with three children. Amen. And I worship at Harvesters Christian Church. Bishop Stephen Gashengo is my bishop. Amen. What Amen. a powerhouse. Bishop Gashengo is quite a powerful man of God. Amen. And so tell us, you've been a worship leader. How did your journey begin? I gave my life to the Lord as a little girl. Yes. I, I must say that I do not know any other life. I yes. only know the life of the church. Amen. And therefore, I began singing in Sunday school. And I went to primary school, I was singing, mm -hmm. and I went to my church, I began to lead worship, mm -hmm. until today, I'm Amen. a worship leader in my church. So we were talking about money matters. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen money bringing issues in teams? Yeah, of course. Yes. Money is the root of all <laughs> evil. That's what the Bible says. Yes, it is. And as, as much as we need money, we must take care of our hearts. It's true. Uh, we must take care of our hearts that we do not allow money issues mm. uh, to bring bridge in our hearts. Yes, true. To corrupt our hearts. That's true. And uh, therefore, we must keep ourselves, our hearts away from the last of money. Amen. It is good to have money, but it is not good to have the last for money. Amen. Yes. Uh, there could be an upcoming singer who is watching us or a worship leader and want to convert their gift into money. Um, what would you advise them? Because everybody believes that when you come to music, uh, fame and money go together, which is not always the truth. So what advice would you give somebody who wants to join music as a recording artist and uh, their mindset is that singing brings money? Honestly speaking, it yeah. is the Lord who brings money. It is true. When I serve the Lord with a genuine heart, mm -hmm. the rest will follow me. Amen. That's what the Bible says. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his, his righteousness, and the rest will follow. The rest is together with money. Amen. So as I sing to the Lord, as I serve Jesus, he will bless me. Glory. So I would say, do not come to serve Jesus because mm. of money. Amen. You know, let me remind you. Um, and in the New Testament, the Bible yeah. says that many people followed Jesus, yes. not because of the life, not because the of, love they had for him, not because of the love they had for Jesus, but because of the bread they received from him. Yes. So we must take care not to not to follow Jesus because of money, mm -hmm. not to serve him because of money and fame. Yes. But we must follow him and serve him with a genuine heart. Knowing that there is a crown of righteousness that awaits for us. Amen. And as we serve him, he will bless us. Amen. You are correct, Magidon. We can't talk much because when she holds that microphone to sing, my goodness, she's a powerhouse. Oh, oh, oh. 